Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to set up the Prisma with the Next.js and the MySQL. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's create a folder structure for the next app. So let's go to the terminal. Okay, let me close this one. Let me close this also. Leave because we are using the MySQL right now. <coughs> Paste this. Uh, would you like to sorry control X because we are using the node so and VM use 20 I'm working on the node 20 version so create the next step with the MySQL right no yes yes just press, press enter okay it will going to create your next app okay this is done after this, you have to move to the next step. Go to the CD, my next Prisma MySQL. Okay, let's install the Prisma client and the Prisma. If you don't install, don't have installed the CLI, so please install the CLI first also. Okay. And you can watch my Prisma video to how to install the CLI and everything you get to know about this one. Okay. So install the Prisma Save Dev. Done. After this, we have to create the schema file for the Prisma. So the command is npx Prisma init. So it will going to give you the configuration file over here. So let's open the code base. Let me close this code base okay so let's open this code now the prisma file is there the schema prisma is there right so database by default is postgres i'm going to use the mysql right done let's move to the next one we have to create the user model so let's go and copy paste this one this is done let's create the api so that we come to know about the connection is successful or everything so let's create the api part also so here let's close this and uh, here i'm going to in the app i'm going to create a folder with the name api okay next time in the api i'm going to create a new folder with the users okay then we have going to create a new file in this that is route dot js file okay so here i'm going to paste my code over here so i have already write it down so let me add the code over here this is this one for creating a user over here so this is that from the post request so this is the user need to be created in the using the help of the prisma in the database so that means then we can show that the everything is connection is done okay so let's go to the prisma so here we have need the mysql connection string let's go to the env file let's put the connection string over here so so I, here I have already the connection string right now. So I'm going to copy this connection string or let's copy this also. Only. This is my username password. And the one more important thing that uh, if you are working on it, so make sure I'm here using the percentage 23Y because my password is admin123 hash. So hash would be in code right list. If you have an issue in that, just watch my Prisma tutorials. I have already explained that each and everything, right? Just try to save this. And let's go and run the commands over here okay so the commands would be this one so prisma generate npx prisma generate let's go and check this one so generate loaded from the files moving to the next step migrate dev so here we have to run the migrations file so let's go and add this if something they that you can see already there so i need to just do the yes and make a new migration file this is done let's run the server npm run dev okay and now create a post api currently right here so i think here we have that minor let's log in okay so let's log in with this one admin123 hash and we have user with the id name and the email right and currently it's empty let's try to add over here so api users post api let's try to send this one the record is added Let's see over here. This is added. That means we are good to go with this one. So setup part is done. The next video, we are going to make it like the Cred Rest API. Okay, so this is pending. So we'll soon update it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Next video would be the how to set up the MongoDB.
Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day.